Believe it or not, he is not dead. I don't know how that's possible, but uh, he actually is just unconscious, and he actually will blow your cover if you uh, don't close this truck. And uh, purposely, or really, I think that's kind of hard to even know. But uh, one thing that you're not allowed is you're not allowed guns into this uh, crazy place we're about to enter. Can you guess? It looks like some sort of meat processing meat processing plant, and that already sounds like probably not a good thing, especially in this dark, morbid version of Hitman. Hitman Contracts, that is. Welcome, bloody meow. Let's play Hitman Contracts Part 2. And, uh, this is called The Meat King's Party. And, uh, let's get our briefing from Diana Burnwood. Old familiar voice. Hello, 47. Diana from the agency here. We've been contacted by a Romanian client. Given the complicated nature of his request, we recommended you for the job. The client wants this taken care of quickly and has agreed to your standard fee. So, here we go. The client believes his daughter was kidnapped and possibly killed by the Romanian Meat King, a Scotsman named Campbell Sturrock. The Romanian courts disagreed. Sturrock's Romanian lawyer, Andrei Puskus, got the case thrown out. Our client wants this settled out of court. Crash their party and take them both out. We've sent some details for you to read. If you accept this mission, your fee will be transferred to your account. Take care, 47. It's a pleasure to be working with you again. Okay. So, we need to enter the party. And, uh, Not Guilty Fetish Party. Meet King presents the Not Guilty Fetish Party. Because he was... Claimed not guilty due to the lawsuit, and now they're making a fetish party. Out of it. And uh, it's really interesting. Like all these levels are so themed. Like this is just out of this world. And, uh, take heed, take heed, gentle viewer, of the disclaimer that I did. That was not just for show. This mission in particular needs to be disclaimed. If your discretion is advised, I will give you five more seconds to either change your mind or continue watching. So, here we go into the Meat King's party.
Now really when you first um, enter this place, you really just get a sense of like, what on earth am I walking into? Quite literally. And uh, it's uh, definitely something of another, of another, <laughs> of another world here. But uh, we have a mission. We need to kill the Meat King, for he is uh, acu being accused of stealing this daughter of, the, of this of this client, and uh, he, he probably did. And from that person that we knocked unconscious, he she said he says that the person was last seen upstairs. But first, let's um. Let's see what we can do here. Now, this chef that's taking some food is actually uh, our ticket to the Meat King. However, since he's already going about his business, maybe we can look for the girl in the meantime. So, honestly, this, 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 this world, as you can see, is living and breathing, and there's plenty of commotion going on. We're not, it's not exactly a party, but you can tell where the party is. And there's one of our targets, which looks to be the lawyer, and uh, the Meat King being on the second floor. And a uh, point of interest on the other side of the, of the second floor, which might be exactly where our little lady is. Now, in professional, you don't get a map, but as I've... Um, well, I don't think I've said that, but uh, on professional, I have um, actually beaten this game on professional with all silent assassin ratings, so I know how to play the professional, but uh, for the sake of a let's play, as I've said, if, or if I didn't say, I'd like to have a couple saves just so I can uh, breathe easy and not get pissed off, because I don't want to get pissed off at a game like this. So it does appear that the Meat King, or the Lady, might be in this room, and there looks to be someone in here. So let's uh, quickly take a look here. <laughs> Oh, 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 uh... What the fuck? Now, like I said, I don't like to get all zeros because this person deserves to die. Whatever he is doing to that woman inside, he needs to die a bloody, bloody death with a meat hook, no doubt. Ugh. That looked like that might have hurt. Creepy motherfucker. So what exactly what is he doing in there? Uh, obviously, <laughs> something. Let's uh, investigate. I found the girl. Can you get her out? Some of her. Enough for a positive ID. Hmm. Was it Sturrock? His brother. But I assume the mission hasn't changed. You assume correctly as usual. Carry on, 47. Oh boy, you're... Not exactly the person Hello, that I'm 47. looking at here. Bitch. Obviously, a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of, uh, anger in this room. A lot of hatred. A lot of torture. There is no way to imagine what. Oh my gosh, there's a buzzsaw hanging up there. There's no way to know what happened to Brianna, I think her name is. Is that her name? <laughs> Hello, 47. Oh, I just. Oh. <laughs> I just said Brianna out of the blue. Whoops. Yeah, that's a little strange. I'm not going to tell you why, though. Anyway, um... We got the murder proof. Her dismembered arm. That's uh, just quaint, isn't it? But, like I said, I, I apologize if you don't want me hanging around here too much, but the way that you're like, oh, what's she, you know, what, what, what were they, what was happening to her? Well, um, who knows what that freakish man did, but I'm glad that I was able to completely eviscerate him with a meat hook. No less. Uh, he definitely deserved that one. Now, uh, with that taken care of, we're going to try to take down the uh, brother who was uh, 
meant to be the one that kidnapped her. So uh, we'll find out very quickly uh, what exactly is going on here. Something tells me that obviously the woman is definitely kidnapped. And uh, she is definitely uh, dead. So we're going to uh, fulfill the client's wishes and kill the Meat King as well as his lawyer who uh, was able to get him out of the court and out of the trial guilt-free. Oh, and no other, there is our lawyer. Would you look at that? Now, he's going into the bathroom, and this score will not let you in when he's going into his bathroom. So one thing you actually can do is enter the bathroom before the lawyer gets in there and hide in one of the stalls and make sure you're hidden so if the door would swing open, the bodyguard would not find you. Then, when the bodyguard's done finishing all the stalls and checking them, he'll leave on the outside. Wait for that to happen, the lawyer will begin to take a leak. That way, you can... Go right, sneak up right behind him, and no more lawyer. But um, we'll find a more um, eccentric way to get. Hey, him. you! Take this meal to Sturok. Where would he like it served? Stupid English. Upstairs. In the room. Go, go, go. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, sorry. This is the, the my stupid English self. Let's let me make sure I get this meat cleaver to uh, prepare it for him and uh, <laughs> stuff it inside of the chicken. Hint, hint. And let me drop my meat hook, because we do not want to be caught with... Already did. Okay, good. Yes, okay. So we got a chicken, and um, we're going to uh, deliver this chicken with uh, meat cleaver inside of it to the meat king. And uh, what I love about Hitman is that we're able to get right up to kissing kissing distance of a heavily guarded VIP and uh, oh my goodness Delph, that's a scene so we have now just entered the fetish party going on as you can see and uh, if you have any sensitivity towards um, not really the harm of animals I mean they might have been harmed but let's not get into that please but um, I guess the grotesque displays of animals then uh, you are in the wrong video but I the disclaimer was intentional not just for kicks and uh, I hope that is enough if someone gets offended by this well that is actually your own damn problem not mine um, in that sense I applaud IO for taking such an edgy scene and this is definitely something of a uh, triple take type of game so uh, there's the meat king enjoying his party music Gotta get through one more search before we can go any further. Kunosh procedura. Akumatsim karne. But what I was saying in the beginning, it's cool how they're like, "Oh, let me f as I feel your flesh." Like, it's other guards are like, "Let me let me search you," but these people are like, "I'll feel your flesh." So obviously, very strange. This kind of gives me reminds me of Hostel really badly. <laughs> and not that Hostel is a good movie, but this reminds me of Hostel. Like Americans would get like kicked up and beat up just like that woman did so i just pulled my meat cleaver out of my chicken very very uh, sub subtly so um no problem you want your chicken well let's get your uh, booth babes out of there and let's give you some privacy because you're a messy eater right let's close those curtains down and give you some privacy meat king let's give you some fucking privacy you disgusting piece of shit Lovely, a lovely band. <laughs> Goodbye, Meat King. He didn't even notice I was pulling out all of my gadgets. He was too invested on that fucking chicken. So we we don't want to we want to negate suspicion and take out our empty plate, as he's got the uh, chicken wedged up his butt. It looks like. Don't bother him for a while there, ladies. He's going to be uh, pretty uh, busy with that chicken. So uh, just leave him as he is, please. Thank you. So actually, another thing you can do if you see that door right there, another way to take down the Meat King is disguising yourself as a guard 
So you have the ability to enter the rooftops above the trucks. Going through here, you need to be kind of slow and sneaky. You don't want to arouse suspicions of the guards. So you want to make sure they come outside themselves. So there is the least amount of suspicion possible. Slowly walking towards, you'll see a ladder that leads to a catwalk that's kind of going up towards where the Meat King is laying, which you might know what's coming up next. So when the coast is clear and both guards are gone, climb up the ladder and continue along the walkway. No guards are going to see you from up here, so don't worry. Eventually you'll come across a skylight window that you can open up. Once you open this up, you'll see a familiar scene, but from a lot higher view. There's the Meat King, ready to be shot, so just aim and shoot with the silencer. But, um, like I said, kind of like killing him in a way that, he's, that he uh, finds, seeks pleasure in, which is eating, and uh, that was ultimately his death. So, uh, at least the preparer of it. So, for just the scenery is absolutely amazing. It's just, like I said, I applaud IO for, for making such a crazy mission. So eccentric, so on edge, just completely controversial. It's like fetish lady standing in pool of blood not caring. It's crazy. So, we have one more target to take. We already got the murder proof. And the next target we have to take is the um, lawyer. And I happen to know that the lawyer is susceptible to... Opium. And, uh, what better, um. Oh, we're done with this now. I don't need this plate anymore. What better, uh. Way to go out than completely high off your ass via opium. So let's go into the dressing room, as, I, as you just seen, and, uh, grab the opium waiter. And now we get a, a message saying the, uh,. Hey, check out Edge. Bugatteria is on the Ziza routine. Move. Sorry. Sorry. Yep. No sorry. Go. I prepare meal for Sturok. No time to chat. Despite. Yes, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Okay. So, you're only the only thing about this being this op opium waiter. I better give it a save because it's uh, there's no reason to be modest about it. Nope, nothing modest about it. So, um, the lawyer's waiting for an opium pipe, and uh, we're gonna deliver. Now, another way to dispose of the Meat King, you can use the opium waiter outfit. Talking to the waiter will give you this conversation. Yes, what do you want? The boss's girls. They pass right out, don't they? Yeah, yeah, it's true. One sniff to the pipe and whoosh, they are gone. Hmm. Then I better serve them. They look so tired. Little creepy hit, man. So then, as you did with the chef outfit, you could walk in, go to the Meat King, as long as you are free of weapons, bring the opium pipe and the booth babe girls. And for shit. Here are some more. Put it down here. We'll want to have some opium. So you just literally just drop it on the floor and each lady will take a hit. So we'll watch this one take a hit, and then the other one will rise up and take a hit, and then they will be completely comatose and unaware of their surroundings, completely. So then, you'll be able to get a weapon to kill the Meat King with, since they come in here weapons free, so jumping across this balcony when the guard is not outside will allow you to sneak up behind him and either kill or sedate him. Either way you choose. Now, keep in mind the sedation only lasts for about seven minutes. Grab the knife, and now you have a weapon. Go up and kill the Meat King. Boot babes, no, none the wiser. But like I like to give some variety, and we're going to try to do as many different things as we can for the most part. Although in reality, we're just doing it the method that I prefer. And, uh, ooh, the guards found the dead Meat King. But that's okay, that was liable to happen. He can't be eating his chicken forever, and we're still going to attain our Silent Assassin ranking since... They don't know the hitman did it, so it's okay. But we need to be very careful here, and I'm actually going to use my second save, like, right away. Really, I should use my first save earlier. I kind of was being a little uh, flexible with it, but this part is a little dangerous. But uh, we'll make sure you're doing your opium pipe correctly, and uh, it will put you to sleep in a nice euphoric high. Almost comatose, if you will. That's okay, because we're about to deliver the finishing blow to the lawyer. Guilty. 
Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Let's save that. And yes, you see other emissions there. It, the save file's really strange. Whoa, 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 lady. What are you doing? That's about enough. No, 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 lady. You did not see anything. Whew. That's what I like about this. I can still attain my silent assassin ranking. You think, oh, well, that lady saw that person dead. Yes, but I'm going to be out of the scene, long gone on a plane, leaving by the time that uh, she realizes what happened and is able to tell someone. Um, so I grabbed her and sedated her as quick as possible. Even though she's a civilian, she'll wake up eventually. Syringes are only time limited, just, um, well, like anesthetics on Silent Assassin. So you only have a time limit to sedate people. On Blood Money, you can sedate them forever. On this one, you only have one, and they get up after like five minutes. So I'm actually just on my smoke break here, and we're going to escape before any more alerts go off. Let's get out of here, guys. There you go. See, that was cool. I kind of like that. That was completely off of my plan that she came and saw that happen. It must have been the way that the curtains moved, and I shot, and she saw that happen. But I syringed her and sedated her before she could alert the guards. Very cool. Very, uh, very adaptive, that was. Kind of, oof. But Silent Assassin, got the micro Uzis. And like I said, one shot fired, one head shot. And one alert, which is the dead king, meat king found, and enemies killed one. Well, what is the enemies killed one? That was the meat king's brother, that sick, twisted son of the bitch. And you don't have to kill him, and you shouldn't if I want to get full stealth. But like I said, do you really want me to keep him alive? Ask yourself that. We still got Silent Assassin. That's why I love this game. Overall, Silent Assassin. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next mission. The next mission, bring your winter coats. It's going to get a little chilly. See you guys later.